Let's get into it. I had to do a soft clap. Can't wake up the baby. Let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. We are covering voter ID right now. Voter ID from the perspective of random white people being asked and voter ID from the perspective of random black people being asked. Oh, my goodness. I have to say, I have to say, my white brothers and sisters, do not be tricked. Do not be tricked. It's wild. It's wild what's going on. The shift that's happening right now. It's crazy. There are some, I'm starting to notice there are some white people who feel like they're owned by the Democratic Party the same way there's black people who feel like they're owned by the Democratic Party. And they're just, they're just going with whatever that party says, no matter what, even if it's at their own detriment. It is wild to see. Sad to see. But... In this instance, hilarious. Let's get into it. <laughs> what opinion of voter ID laws? Uh, yeah, they're usually pretty racist and <laughs> they're, they're bad. I think voter ID laws are a way to perpetuate racism. Would you say they're, would you go as far as to say they're, they're, those laws are racist? For sure. Do you think it suppresses the uh, African American vote? Definitely. Uh, because they're less likely to have state IDs. Minority voters are less likely to have the kinds of IDs that have been um, described or required. These type of people don't live in areas with easy access to DMVs or other places where they can get identification. You can always get hold on, what do you mean by that? What are you trying to say? What was that guy? Hold on, hold on. Go, go back for a second. What's this guy trying to say? These type of people? <laughs> Who is he talking about? <laughs> I love it, man. I love the fact that people like tolerance is like a circle. And, and these woke people have gotten so tolerant that they've almost gotten all the way back around the circle. They're just they're to the point where they're just like, let's just segregate everything because I love black people so much. And these people just aren't smart enough to get IDs. <laughs> you OK? <laughs> it's amazing, man. Let's go. Areas with easy access to DMVs or other places where they can get identification. You can always get IDs um, you do over the Internet. Does that also would make it difficult for, for black people in particular? Yeah, you have to have access to the internet. You have to be able to pay an internet service provider for certain fees. Do you think that's harder for black people to go online? Well, IDs? I feel like they don't have the knowledge of how, of like, how it works. Like, a lot of people have smartphones, but you might not have data. No, no, no. No, no, no. We, we're going back. What did she say? What did she just say? What's going on here? <laughs> I'm telling you, people are becoming so woke. That they're going they're coming back around the other side and let me tell you as they keep coming back around the other side they're gonna start getting kind of cool i'm just i'm just saying <laughs> i'm just saying if they're getting to this point they're gonna become pretty cool pretty soon listen what did she say it's harder for black people to go online well i feel like they don't have the knowledge of how of like how it works like, a lot of people have smartphones but you might not have data for most of the communities they don't really know what is out there just because they're not aware or like right. they're not informed i also think there's a repression of like black voting with um how they how if you're a convicted felon like you're not allowed to vote and everything and when you look at swing states like florida that's a huge population of the of the like african americans now i'm here in east harlem to ask black people their thoughts on what you just heard do you have id normally you carry id around yes i have state id do you carry id yes i do do you know anybody who any black person who doesn't carry id no everyone that i know has an id why would they think we don't have id <laughs> That's a lie. Why would they say that? Do you have ID? Yes. Because I have my ID and my friends have their ID, so like, we know what we need to carry around. Yeah, everybody that I know have ID. Like, that's one of the things you need to walk around with New York with, an ID. Do you know any black adult who does not have ID? No, I don't. Is it a weird thing to even say that? Yes, it is. What is this, some, some type of uh, trick candy camera? I like know, that? right? <laughs> That's the only thing I brought with me. Those are legit, yeah. legit IDs. I heard a lot also that uh, black people can't figure out how to get to the DMV. Really? Is that, is that, what does that say to you? I know it's that. It's on 25th Street. Do you know where the ID, the, the DMV is around you? It's on 125th Street and 3rd Avenue, I believe. You know how to get there? Yeah. Do you have a problem getting there if you have to get there? No. It's, I know these sound like silly questions. You know how to get to the AV? Of course. You know where it is? Yes. You can get there? Uh-huh. No problem. No problem. Just checking. Okay. And I also heard a lot that black People, especially poor black people, have no access to the internet, can't figure out how to use the internet. <laughs> that's 
That's a that's just stupidity, honestly. Everybody has access to the internet. Even a little kid can figure out how to work the internet. I had access to the internet for years. You know how to use it properly, exactly. right? Exactly. I do it at work. <laughs> so, of course, I know how to use it. Smart. My kids know how to use it. They all have iPads, iPods, whatever. Your phone has data? Mm -hmm. You can actually unlimited it unlimited data. Mm -hmm. I use my phone as a hotspot. What does that say to you for the people who have this perception of black people? Um, uh, they're pretty much ignorant. Uh, that's why my thought process on. I just think that's ignorant. 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 That's the word. Very I hear very a lot. ignorant. Ign ignorant. Very very ignorant. Does it sound racist for somebody to say that? I, I think it is a little racist because you know you're putting um, people in a category and you have no idea what you're talking about. Maybe a little bit of racist in it, but like I said, I think it's more stupidity and ignorance. You're judging somebody, like, but you're judging them because they're black, saying that they don't got it. What people are they talking to? <laughs> what are who are these people talking to? Do you have a problem that if you go to vote and they say, "Can we please see your ID to make sure you are who you say you are?" I you love cool? showing my ID. You have no problem with that? Nope. Would you have a problem if when you go to vote? If they say, can we please just see your ID to make sure you are who you say you are, do you have an issue with that? No. Would you have a problem if there was a rule where you have to show your ID in order to vote? I don't think so. No. Would you have an issue if there was a rule saying you got to show your ID before you vote? No. Are you cool with that? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. I'll just leave that website right up there. That gentleman is doing God's work right now. <laughs> And, you know, in, in, you know, in, in defense of those woke people who were saying that, you know, black people are ex-cons and stuff, this gentleman clearly went to the upper echelons of Harlem to talk to these black people. OK, so, you know, these aren't the black people that most people think, you know, this, these are this guy's obviously rich or something like that. You know, I can see a I can see an apartment building back there. It looks like it's connected to the projects projects are probably pretty uh you know well off area those projects you know harlem <laughs> oh my god harlem is cleaning up a little bit though but it's incredible to see this type of reaction from white and black people uh white liberals let me be clear these are white woke liberal people and again just to go over the things that they said about voter ID, it's racist. It suppresses the black vote. Black people can't get IDs. They don't have internet. They are uninformed and unaware of how to get ID. <laughs> this is, it's so, it's so amazing because regular guys, you know, my mega brothers, my conservative brothers that I know, we all just, everyone's just normal. I don't know what these liberal people, these woke people, I don't know what narrative they're fed. It's so crazy. It's so crazy that the left is fed this narrative that black people are all these things in regards to voter ID. But then at the same time, at the same time, they're put on this pedestal. And at the same time, these woke people will push themselves as people who are so anti-racist, so so not racist that they formed a, a phrase called anti-racist, but then still have this mindset. It's it's like they get a little bit of everything. They get to say wild stuff like this. They also get to virtue signal the fact that they're so accepting and so anti-racist. It's such an odd thing. And then there's black people again, still on that democratic plantation who are around these woke people and they all just, it's so mind boggling. It's so mind boggling that there are people walking around thinking these things and then also thinking I'm a very accepting good person. And then, and then thinking people who are conservative and Republicans who are like, everybody can get ID. Black people are completely c capable of getting ID. It's fine. You should have to show your ID. And they actually have the mindset to point at those people and be like, well, that's racism. That's clear racism. I'm here saying that black people don't have internet and don't have the knowledge and are mostly ex cons. That's tolerance. That's, that's how you're supposed to be. But these people who are saying they're just like us, oh my God, those people are just <laughs> hateful. 
<laughs> the hate on those people. It's such a it's such a mind bending thing to watch. I'm telling you, man, I really want to do content like this where I go out and talk to people, but I wouldn't be able to keep it together like this guy and just ask the questions and walk away. I couldn't do that. I'd have to say something. There, there's no knowledge, ex cons. And then the the one question that the uh, the black lady asked, she said, this this lady, this lady right here, she said, who are these people talking to? And it's so true. Who are they talking to? It's wild that the party, the side that sees themselves as so virtuous is giving people this narrative in their head about a group race of people. And, you know, it doesn't just stop at black people. I'm sure they look at immigrants a certain way. They they look at they look at, you know, Asian like it. it it's so focused on race and gender that it they can't help but be <laughs> they can't help but be racist it's so weird it's such a mind bending thing to me i i and i love it i can't even lie i love it i love i loved watching this this is so good this one girl, she was just like, they're just not informed. Say it again for me, sweetheart. Black people to go online. Well, I feel like they don't have the knowledge of how of like how it works. <laughs> it's funny, but it's not. It's funny, but it's not. And it, again, man, some people just need to be red pilled, man. They they just need that red pill because this is crazy. Could you imagine? And, and again, like I said at the beginning of this whole thing, they're going around this circle so much so that they're getting to a point where they're like, hey, let's have a black only graduation. Hey, 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 I know you're a person of color. You probably don't know what the Internet is. I'll help you out. Do you have a cell phone? Do you know what a cell phone is? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so crazy. I love it, though. But you know what? It's funny because I was just having a conversation about this with my buddy. He's a comedian, great comedian, Dino Archie. I was just talking to him about this and he sent me screenshots. He was talking about he's like, uh, he's like, I'm running off the plantation. And every time I try to get off the Democratic plantation, he's like these slave catchers. <laughs> it's hilarious. But he's like these slave catchers come back and and they attack me. And I was like, slave catchers, what are you talking about? And then he started showing me these these people who are supposed to be woke, who are supposed to be virtuous. And when they see a guy like me or a guy like him who's presenting themselves as, you know, Republican, right leaning, conservative, when they see that, they start to attack in a weird way. And he showed me this this uh, exchange he had on Facebook, I believe. And he has like a business Facebook. So these people are following him because he's a comedian. And the person's calling him a repub or a repub tard, a repub tard, and called him a bootlicker, all because he was just talking about how racist the Democrats are and how the party's no good anymore. And he's just he's just stating facts. That's all. He's just talking about Kamala, how fake she is, talking about Trump, how great he is, and he gets these type of attacks. And it's like that. It's no mystery to me. I've I've I get those attacks all the time myself. I get you know even worse because you know he's just kind of dabbling you're not dabbling but he's kind of you know a lot of people are starting to wake up and they're starting to be vocal you know i've been like this for a long time so i'm kind of used to it but it's just so interesting to see you know and what i said to him was kind of what i've been saying to you guys i was like those people who are attacking you it's so funny because they probably walk around in public and present themselves as such a virtuous you know tolerant person but at the same time, if they see someone who's a person of color and they have this narrative in their head, they'll try and and, and slap that person down. They'll, they'll attack and they'll get to a point where they're being vicious. And it's all in the name of anyone but Trump. I, I've said it so many times on this channel. The niceties, the sympathy, the humanity, it all goes away when someone sees that you're a Trump supporter. When someone sees that you're conservative, they just paint this crazy view of you. And and don't get me wrong, I got a crazy view of people who are on the left. But also, that crazy view is uh, proven. 
time and time and time again. <laughs> so, you know, but I get it. I have this view too, but I don't let that view allow me to attack somebody that I don't know. You know, it, 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 I'm trying to, I'm talking, I'm, I'm tiptoeing around this because I've gotten into some exchanges in my comment section, other comment sections, Instagram, Facebook, I get into it. <laughs> I don't do the Joe Rogan thing where he's like, I just post and walk away. Like, nah, 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 uh, nah, I'm here. I'm here. I got time. I got time. I'll be holding the baby and be like, what did you say? What did you just say? I'll use, I'll use voice to text. Let me tell you something, buddy. I go hard. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, it's a flaw. It's a flaw, but I'll, I'll work it out one day, one day. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's just interesting to see that whole thing, man. And then when we talk about voter ID, you know, just to touch on what happened in Texas, I'm going to do a more extensive video on it, but they removed 1.1 million people from their voter registry. And a lot of those people were non-citizens and even more worrisome, a lot of them were dead. So what's happening there? Uh, <laughs> what's going on there? And it's all due to a undercover initiative that Ken Paxman put into play because he figured out that there were these organizations that were registering people to vote that were not eligible to vote. And they have done it to the tune of millions of people. Now, I won't say I won't say millions. I'll say one million. And then you can minus a whole bunch because they were deceased. But they are signing up people who are not registered to vote. Having ID presented at a voting booth is not insulting to anyone. Everyone has ID. And guess what? If you are so inspired by the political, whether you're inspired by Trump and you want to vote for him or you're inspired by Kamala and want to vote for her, if you're that inspired, you should go get an ID. If you have the wherewithal that you're like, I know I need to vote, you, you're probably a person who has the wherewithal to say, I should probably go get my ID. And again, the argument's been brought up so many times by so many different people to drive to drink, to go into clubs, to go into bars, to go into lounges. It, it, the list goes on and on and on. How many things you need your ID for? It, it, cigarettes, it, it just goes on and on and on. You need an ID. Everyone has ID. And those black people were such a good example because they were just like, yeah, I know where the place is to get it. And of course, of course, man, believe me, the one thing the government does the one thing they're going to do is make it easy for them to track you. So if you walk into a place and you're like, I need to be in your database, they're going to be like, oh, yeah, OK, good. You're not in. Oh, my God. How old are you? Get in here. Obviously, like, come on, man. Anyway, I, I made this run long because I wanted to tell that story. But it's just it's just so hilarious what the woke movement is turning into. And you know what? I, I'll just say it because, I you know, I, I touch on this thing a whole lot. But when you look at the woke movement and you compare it to the communist regimes, and I know that seems like such a far cry. I, I know it seems so far fetched, but believe me, there are so many similarities between communist regimes and the woke movement of today. And also, there are so many people who identify, I won't say identify as woke, but identify as a far left leaning that are socialists, that are straight up communists, that are Marxists, and they want to see that ideology come into fruition on American soil. OK, and that's why you see a lot of what's happening with the woke movement is a lot of what you see in communist regimes. And if I had to recommend any books so you could start seeing it, I would say The Naked Communist, Rules for Radicals, those two books right there will blow your mind, you will start to see everything that the left is doing, that the far left is doing. It will all make sense. There's reasons that they keep on focusing on race and gender. There's reasons that they keep on pushing that, oh, well, you know, black people, oh, they, they need, they need, they need more. And 
oh, we need to gather them all up. There's a reason why the woke movement gathers up all the minorities of the world. They get they gather up the blue haired people and the pink haired people and the people who have no sex and the people who are pansexual and this and that. And this. there's a reason that they gather them all up like that. And then they say, oh, yeah, the working class. And then they point at the rich and they say they're they're, they're the problem. There's a reason they do that. They've done that through each regime that you've seen in the world. They always do that. They always go anti-human. They always go anti-religion. They always do it. That's my TED talk. Sorry. Sorry, I got I got into it a little bit. <laughs> How did I go from laughing at at liberals <laughs> all the way to communism? Oh man. I'm glad you stayed with me. If you stayed with me, I'm glad. Thank you so much. Anyways, guys, like, subscribe, turn on the notifications. Other than that, I'm out.